Okay, let's see if I remember how to do this. Hey, y'all. It has been a very long time. If you're watching this, when I upload it, it is the last weekend of February. February is almost over of 2022. And I think the last time I uploaded a video was December of 2021. But I am back. I am so excited to talk with you guys today. I want to give you an update of what's been going on in our life, in our family, and also a little chat about my channel and kind of what I have planned for the upcoming weeks and months. So grab your favorite beverage. I have my nice toasty coffee here and let's chat. All right, y'all, where to begin? So I've been away. I've been away from YouTube for a while. I have been somewhat active on Instagram, but definitely not as active as I once was. But I have a very good excuse, a very good reason why. So I'm going to tell you, or maybe I'll just show you. Hmm. So this is why, <laughs> this is where I've been, in case you're wondering. If you're watching this when I upload it, I am about 20 weeks pregnant. 20 weeks. We're like halfway done. I I don't know how that happened. I I can't believe it. Honestly, it's just like flown by. We are absolutely thrilled about this pregnancy. Um it's very surreal. It's very unlike any other pregnancy that I have had. I went through a super rough period. Basically for all of December and most of January and a little bit of February, I was dealing with some pretty bad pregnancy symptoms, um, mostly nausea and fatigue that seemed to last all day long. And I was just completely worn out. And of course, you mamas know that when we aren't feeling our best, it affects everything in our homes and definitely affects our homeschool situation. So for our homeschool, we basically took the entire month of December off, which was not in my plan <laughs> at all. Um, but I really didn't have a choice. Like I could barely function. I could barely get out of bed or get off the couch for that entire month. And it was really all I could do to just kind of care for my children's like basic needs, like feeding them and keeping them clean and healthy. So yeah, homeschool just did not happen for us in December. And it really didn't pick up for us until probably mid-January or the end of January. And then at that point, we were still just doing like the bare minimum essentials. I call them core subjects, like the three R's, reading, writing, arithmetic. Um, that's basically all we were doing in January. We really dropped everything else because that was literally all I could manage and that was all I could do. And now here we are in February and I'm almost 20 weeks. By the time you see this, I'll be past 20 weeks and I'm finally starting to feel like myself a little bit. Like the nausea has finally subsided. Of course, it's been replaced with heartburn, but Honestly, I'll take heartburn over horrible, like, seasick nausea. <laughs> Maybe that's just me. The extreme fatigue and tiredness is finally mostly gone. I feel like I have some energy back. And we are doing a lot of cool things in our homeschool once again. We've picked back up with history. We've picked back up with music study. We've started to add in a little bit of science again. 
and it just feels so good. It feels amazing to just like do stuff again, stuff that we enjoy, stuff that I enjoy. And so now, finally, it is time for me to get back to this channel, which I love and enjoy so much. I do want to chat with you guys, though, just a little bit on the personal side and just share with you some of the things with this pregnancy um, other than the physical symptoms, which have been very difficult, there's also just been this whole other emotional and mental side of this pregnancy that I didn't really expect. Um, it's been very challenging. There are so many bittersweet emotions that come along with this pregnancy. So if you've been around this channel for a minute, you might remember that back in August of last year, so literally just a few months ago, it feels fresh still, um, we suffered a miscarriage. We had a pregnancy loss, and it was kind of a whirlwind. It was really devastating, um, definitely the hardest thing that I've personally ever experienced in my life, and it was my first pregnancy loss. I know so many mamas who have repeat pregnancy losses or who have, you know, really tough times conceiving or, you know, their babies pass away even later in the pregnancy or are stillborn. And my heart just breaks for them and goes out to each and every one of them because even though I haven't been through those situations, I just got a very small glimpse of like the devastation and the havoc that something like that can wreak in your life. And yeah, it was absolutely horrendous. So anybody who has gone through that or is going through something like that now, I just want to give you a big hug. And yeah, you know, we have to be there for each other because... Unless you've experienced something like that, you just really can't understand um, fully what it what it feels like. Good job, Kayla. Your first video in two months and you're totally going to cry. <laughs> I, I don't want to talk about that forever because that's not what this video is about. And there might be a video in the future at some point where I do share more of that story. Um because I do feel it's very important to talk about pregnancy loss and infant death so that we don't feel alone. For the simple fact that no one should have to go through this alone, I do feel it's important for us to share our stories and talk about it. However, not what this video is about, but I just wanted to take a moment to acknowledge that piece of this story because I think that things would be so different if I hadn't walked through that and gone through that, especially as recently as we did. So because of that pregnancy and that baby dying and not making it, um, this pregnancy, which happened very soon afterwards, as you can imagine, um, it's just been weird. Like maybe that's the only word I can use to describe it. It's been very weird. On the one hand, I have felt elated and so happy to be pregnant again. Um, my husband and I are really excited to grow our family. Our daughters are very excited to potentially grow our family and have another sibling. So all of that is happy and it's wonderful. But after you've had a pregnancy loss or an infant death in the family, I'm sure others can relate to this. The subsequent pregnancy or pregnancies, they're joyful, but they're also coupled with so much anxiety, so much fear, so much grief even. There is some grief. It's very hard to explain unless you've experienced it. It's very difficult for someone to understand. I definitely did not understand, and I don't think I could have ever understood without going through it myself. Um, 
But obviously, I'm so thankful that I do have a community of mamas who have been through similar experiences, and we have been able to kind of commiserate and talk and vent to each other. And I've realized that this experience that I'm having, um, where this pregnancy has just been mentally very difficult and very confusing and weird, that is not an isolated experience. That is actually a very common experience that a lot of women and mamas have had are having. I remember finding out that I was pregnant with each of my daughters and the baby that passed away. And there's just like, you know, shock, surprise, awe, joy, you know, all of these emotions. And it is very emotional. And with my first daughter, there was a little bit of anxiety because you've never been pregnant before. You've never been a mom before. So, you know, you feel worried, you have fears. And then with my second pregnancy, you know, maybe a little bit of fear and anxiety, feeling anxious about like, how will I love this child as much as I love my baby that I already have? Or how will things change as we go from one child to two children? All of those feelings can happen and are natural and I think common, right? But with this pregnancy, I feel like the fear and the anxiousness that I am feeling, that my husband is feeling, was just amped up to a hundred, to a thousand. Like, it's just so different. I found out I was pregnant and my husband and I felt, I think we were happy, but also just like not letting ourselves be happy yet, if that makes sense. Like, I wouldn't allow myself to be happy because in the back of your head, you're like, this positive pregnancy test doesn't actually mean anything anymore. It doesn't mean that I'm going to get a baby at the end of this. It doesn't mean that I'm going to have, you know, a healthy pregnancy with no complications. That's not a guarantee. And you're very keenly aware of that fact more so than I have ever been with previous pregnancies before. So yeah, for weeks and weeks, not only was I feeling physically sick, physically exhausted, physically fatigued, but I also was in a constant state of panic and feeling anxious and afraid. Literally, you know, every morning when I woke up, every time I used the bathroom, every time we had a checkup appointment, I was fully prepared for bad news. In fact, I was expecting bad news. I was trying to get myself ready for it mentally and emotionally, which of course is ridiculous because you can't really prepare for those types of moments in life. Even though we all are aware that they are possible, you can't prepare for them. There's no way. I've been away from YouTube because life was really hard. This pregnancy has been so hard, physically, emotionally, mentally. Obviously, there are women and mamas who are having way more challenging pregnancies, way more health difficulties. I want to share and be open for the sake of maybe helping someone else who's going through the same thing, but I also never want it to seem like I am complaining or ungrateful. I'm very thankful that this pregnancy has been healthy. I have been healthy, and all of the symptoms that I have had are within the range of like normal things. Like I haven't had hyperemesis or anything so extreme that I've needed medical intervention relatively speaking, it's been a good pregnancy. I think it's just been more complicated because of, you know, what happened for us to get to this point, if that makes sense. So yeah, I didn't plan on taking a break from YouTube. I didn't want to take a break from YouTube. I felt forced by my body and my mind to take a break from YouTube. It was rough but we're through it. We're on the other side and I'm feeling a lot better. 
we just had our anatomy ultrasound, which is like the really detailed, long ultrasound where they measure all of the baby's organs and spine and they look at everything, right? And I was so, so nervous about that ultrasound because, you know, every checkup we've had, it's like baby's good, heart heart rate is good for baby. But I just kept thinking, well, you know, surely something terrible is wrong. Surely. And the anatomy ultrasound will be when we find that out. And it was beautiful. The baby looked amazing, super healthy, growing right on track. Everything looked good. And the amount of relief that I had, I can't even describe it to you. I, I'm just very, very relieved. And yet, still, now at 20 weeks, there's still a part of me that is incredibly afraid. I'm nervous about sharing this pregnancy um, just because of what happened last time. Like, I have baggage, y'all. I obviously have a lot of emotional baggage that I am still processing through. So I'm nervous. I'm nervous about making this video. I'm nervous about coming back to YouTube. I'm nervous about everything all of the time. But I feel more relieved, more confident, and more joyful than I have in a long time. I feel more like myself, and the timing is right. I want to be back here. I want to share with you guys what's going on. So here we go. Here it is. How long is this video going to be? <laughs> Too long. I'm very sorry that this video is so chatty and long. Apparently I had a lot to get off my chest. Um, so where is the channel going from here? Well, not much is going to change. I have a ton of homeschool content to share with you guys. I have curriculum and products to review for you guys. I have some changes that are kind of happening in our homeschool lineup, bringing on a couple new things, letting a couple things go. I want to share that with y'all as well as the reasons for it because obviously every family is different, right? What works for my family might not work for yours. And that's what I love about this space. That's what I love about homeschool YouTube and Instagram is like seeing all the different perspectives and all of the different options and all the different ways that things can go because there's a million different ways. So lots more homeschool content in the works coming your way. I'm so out of breath. <laughs> I'm so out of breath. <sighs> Pregnancy, y'all. It's a crazy time. I also want to know from you guys if you are interested in following along with this pregnancy, if you're interested in pregnancy content or updates. I don't want to like bombard you with baby pregnancy stuff. If you are, you know, you're here for the homeschool stuff, you're a homeschool parent and you're like, I'm done with my babies and my pregnancies and that content is not appealing to me. That's okay. Like, be honest with me. Let me know. The majority of the content that I have in the works is homeschool related, which is awesome. I'm excited. But this is my first time having a YouTube channel while being pregnant. So part of me thinks it would be fun to share a little bit of that as well. You know, some pregnancy updates here or there. Um, maybe some like haul videos or I don't know, baby essential type videos, what I'm getting for our third child. But yeah, I don't want to make those videos if you guys don't want to see them. So be honest with me, let me know, and we will go from there. Obviously, this is a big transition for our family that we are embarking on. I have an eight-year-old and a five-year-old. My girls are three years apart. I have never had to do like serious academics in homeschooling while having a newborn. I've never done that. So this is going to be brand new to me to be 
adding a baby into that mix, I'm a little terrified, <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Um, this baby is due in July, mid to late July of 2022. So yeah, that feels like it's coming up really quickly. We are almost in spring. So I have spring and summer to wrap a lot of things up with my girls. I want to kind of hit the books hard and get a lot of academics done because I know, well, I don't know, let's be clear, but I'm assuming that it's going to be challenging for, you know, a few weeks to a couple of months for us to get back into a routine once the baby is here. I know that so many of you have already been through this transition. You have three kids, four kids, five kids, six kids, and you've been homeschooling the whole time and you're just like trucking along. You are my inspiration. I am paying very close attention to all of my mama friends who are in that situation um, and hopefully trying to learn some tips and tricks that I can implement in our homeschool. But yeah, nervously excited for this big transition. We will see what happens and how it affects our homeschool situation. Um, or how it continues to affect our homeschool situation because let's face it, it already has affected our homeschool situation um, for the last few weeks. So I'm excited that we're getting back into the swing of things and I'm hoping that we can keep that momentum for the next few months. And then I imagine that we will probably be taking most of July and all of August and maybe all of September um, either completely off of homeschool or like just doing bare minimum core subject work. I don't know, y'all. I really don't know. I mean, these are just the thoughts that I have. These are the thoughts that keep me up at night. So if you have been through this transition where you have older kids who are doing well with homeschool, you have like your routine down and then you've thrown a newborn into the mix, I would love to hear your tips, tricks, advice in the comments or send me a DM on Instagram. Let me know because that is also in the back of my head as we prepare for this huge life change for our family. All right, y'all, I have chatted your ear off for long enough. I really appreciate you spending a few minutes of your day with me. And I really appreciate all the love and support that you guys have offered through all of this. You guys have been amazing. The fact that y'all have still been watching my videos and commenting and interacting with my channel, even while I was away, you just, you don't know. It means the world to me. And yeah, a huge thank you. If you are not subscribed already and you are interested in secular homeschooling, family life, maybe pregnancy stuff, I don't know, uh, make sure you subscribe. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.